So Shabazz was not permitted to stay in that area, so he took his family into the jungle of East Asia, which we now call Africa, to make a people close to nature. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, this is the origin of kinky hair. Because we didn't have kinky hair prior to that. The hair on our head was like the hair on our eyebrows. The hair on your eyebrows straight. The hair on your head is not the same as the hair on your eyebrow. But the hair of every other people is the same as their eyebrow. Your eyebrows straight, your hair something different. Wouldn't you like the hair on your head to be as straight as the hair on your eyebrow? <laughs> That's why you're so busy frying it. That's why you're so busy pulling it. Because your nature tells you that the kink. <laughs> I mean, you know, with, with I'm black and I'm proud, you we got to learn to be proud of kinks because most of your family of other black people on the earth jet black they didn't have no broad nose and thick lips and kinky hair they were dark skinned people jet black but they had straight hair a thinner lip a thinner nose but we are marked as a different kind of black person. And we were rejected and despised, not only from the circle of the gods, but we were despised and rejected by all the other dark people of the earth. This is why today black people with kinky hair and broad nose and thick lips are rejected in every society. I want you to hear me well tonight. Why are we rejected? Because the essence of beauty is in obedience and submission to God. And the essence of ugliness is when you rebel against God. And when you rebel against God in your rebellion, you are marked with a certain mark of your rebellion, which is the disfigurement of your internal self which manifests in the disfigurement of your external self. And this is why when you look at our people, wherever we are found on the earth, you find us either disfiguring ourselves physically because we are disfigured on the inside because of rebellion. 